I'm Jason. I'm Alex. And we are The, the Gay, Gay Press. Press. Jason, please let everyone know what are we discussing today? Mm, today, we are discussing Peter Hedges' Ben is Back, starring Julia Roberts mm. and Lukey Hedgie. Lukey Hedgie! Lukey Hedgie! Ben is what? He's back! Okay, Lukey Hedgie plays Ben. He is back from rehab unexpectedly on Christmas Eve. Julia Roberts plays his mother. The one condition for him to stay with them over the holidays is that she spends 24 hours with him to make sure he is clean. I was obsessed with the structure of this film. It really is about the succinct 24 hours. Almost everything happens in real time and the film just sort of grips you and doesn't let you go until the end. This tells a very serious, intense story and then lets you go after and you're just like, oh my God, what washed over me? I am obsessed with Julia Roberts' performance. I was shook by how transformative she is. She is unlike I've ever seen her before. She is manic, she is on edge, she is loving. It's mm. honestly probably one of my favorite performances of the year. One of the things I think is actually really successful about this movie is that it does stay with her more so than Ben. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there's something about being a parent of an addict and they really want to still do justice to what it's like to be an addict, but mm -hmm. also how it affects other people. I think it's really interesting that Beautiful Boy kind of tries to do that and it's that's actually what is its biggest downfall. We want to preface this by saying this was especially difficult. We both love Julia so much. This is also... We cannot stress enough how beautiful a performance this is. We're just gonna look outside of this mm -hmm. because this career movie star! Number five is August Osage County. Eat the fish, bitch! Number four is Notting Hill. I am just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. <laughs> I don't know the quote. <laughs> Number three is Closer. Tastes like you, but sweeter. Ooh, wasn't a big hit, but there's a very specific community of Closer fans. Like, I knew you loved it before we Ooh. even talked about it. Number two is Pretty Woman. <laughs> big mistake, huge. <laughs> Number one is Aaron Bukovic. You want numbers? I'll give you numbers. Mm -hmm. Eight, that's how many dollars I have. Zero, that's how old I was when I was born. <laughs> Julia Roberts, we Julia Roberts, her. we love you. Our hunk is Lukey Hedgie. You got the same hunk. There's something about him that is just so fascinating mm -hmm. and charming. And I think in this movie in particular, um, he, is very charismatic and mm -hmm. yet scarred. The movie does such a good job of letting that come out. He still can play the like good son mm -hmm. coming home, you know what I mean? And his mom slowly learns about all the things he did as a drug addict and it's so shocking because that cute little Lukey Hedgie has a dark past. Yeah. Also, he is so good in this movie and like mm -hmm. talent. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. I actually think this movie is very interesting for awards because we will definitely talk about what we think it deserves, but I think it's a little bit left field. I don't know how much attention this movie's gonna get. I don't know if it's gonna blow up. So it's not really on everyone's radar. I've actually been going through some of our episodes and I know we've called a bunch of people locked. So I think Best Actress might actually have nine contenders that are locked in. For us, yeah. <clears throat> I actually do think Julia Roberts will get in. It's a competitive year, but it really is a powerful performance. Lucas Hedges absolutely deserves Best Actor. Mm. Again, even Boy Race and this film are both like flying a little low on the radar for awards watch, but I definitely think they're two of my favorite performances of the year. If there is a movie that is gonna get more support, I think it actually will be this movie. Um, I can also see this movie going to screenplay. Yeah. It's very timely, mm -hmm. and I think that it avoids a lot of cliches. Looking at this movie through a queer lens, mm -hmm. automatically, with the presence of someone like Julia Roberts, there's a little bit more of something. Also mm -hmm. having Lukey Hedgie as the male lead, mm -hmm. who is 
part of the LGBTQ plus family. Mm -hmm. uh, that obviously gives it a little bit more. Also, at least the pose of Beautiful Boy, while it's not glamorous or good or positive in any way, mm -hmm. there is at least something alluding to some gayness that isn't washed away and there isn't like yeah. a shame about the gayness itself. As a queer perspective film, we're gonna give it two yeah. gay press ratings, but I think we both loved the film as a film itself. It is a ride, it is a journey. What would we give it as a film? Solid four. Yeah. Absolutely solid four. Mm -hmm.